hi guys so i went out to brunch with one of my friends just now um i got a bomb chicken sandwich it was so delicious um i went over to target i'm in the parking lot right now because i had to get some stuff for dinner i'm going to be making um chipotle chicken pasta like a copycat from the one from cheesecake factory so we're gonna do that i'll show you guys how i do that that's all that's going on right now right now i'm gonna drive home there's like a dust storm going on right now and it's raining so i need to take my booty home so yeah i'll talk to you guys when i get home Anyways, clean your chicken clean it and then you chop it up into like little inch or two pieces you season i'm going to use some salt a lot of chicken so you gotta like get in there pepper garlic powder Robin and a book And then you mix. See, and then you season, you mix, and then you realize you need more seasoning. And you season again. And that's on what, Janessa? And that's on what, Janessa? That's on Janessa. Season with your heart and your stomach. <laughs> so now we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to cook them. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't undercook the chicken. So it's gonna fry, and then once it's done frying, well, you fry it in olive oil, and then once it's done frying, you take it out, and then you mix it in honey. I'll show you that step. While we wait for that chicken to cook, we're gonna go ahead and cut up a yellow pepper, a red pepper, half of a white onion. Now we are waiting for the chicken to cook but I wanted to ask you guys what is a good mascara um, that doesn't smudge like under your eye because every mascara I use I shouldn't have touched my eyes I just cut an onion but what are good mascaras that won't smudge under your eye because I currently use the the bite mascara and I use the better than sex by benefit and they both smudge under my eye and I hate it. So leave down in the comments some suggestions of some mascaras that I should try. I did just buy this one because I saw this one on TikTok, but we'll see if it's any good. So I chopped up half an onion, a full red pepper, a full yellow pepper. Browning them up. And then we drop them in here. After all the chicken is cooked fully, you add in some honey and just mix it all together. Doesn't that look so good? Look at that. I'm gonna have the noodles over here boiling. So delicious. And then that's what the chicken should look like. In that same pan, you're gonna put the white onion, the red pepper, and the yellow pepper. And you're gonna just mix it all in together. Get it nice and translucent. Just mix generously. Once it starts to cook a little bit more, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in some garlic. Okay, so in here we have heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, onions, peppers, and then you have to add um this which is basically just like chipotle peppers chilies whatever and then you blend it like so and then you have to enter this in there but i have to make <laughs> i have to make two different versions because my dad doesn't like cheese so i have to add some in there and then add some in here Fake my nephew is right. So we're at 
Hobby Lobby. We're in line at Hobby Lobby, and I pick him up out of the car, so like cart. the shopping cart, so like walk him to the car, and he's like he's empty-handed, like his toys are like left in the cart. So I'm walking him out the door, he starts to whine, right? So I'm like, oh, like he probably wants his toys back. Now, mind you, my nephew is non-verbal. So he's not telling me he wants the toys, but like I'm guessing like he probably wants his toys that are left in the cart, right? So we walk back to the cart, and I'm thinking like, okay, he's gonna pick up his toy. This boy goes straight to the candy. Now, mind you, my nephew does not eat candy. Not because my sister doesn't allow him to eat candy, but he's like all about textures, and he doesn't like, he doesn't like candy. And he, gra he literally makes a scene for this candy. <laughs> because of the packaging how fake is he making us all look bad like wow you give your three-year-old candy no we don't and now look at him kids just make you have the candy in his he his does home. he's like he's like taking look this is what it looks like and he's like peeling all the little balls off didn't put it in his mouth because again he doesn't like candy but he's just like playing with it i'm like Good morning guys. I literally just woke up. I had these little curl things in my hair all night. And I've seen this all over TikTok. Oh my gosh, I'm like freshly woken up. But I've seen these all over TikTok and I have curly hair. So I was like, I wonder if it'll work on my hair and if it like gave me like a good curl pattern um, without me having to put like product in, you know? So, let's do it in the first piece. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. That's cute. Everyone was saying on TikTok that I should put product in it, but it was too tired last night to do that. to put some oil in it and fluff it up a little bit let me style it really quick and then I come back <laughs> okay final verdict is it's it, it created some curls um but I think next time I'm gonna put um like water or like some product in it so that it'll be more defined curls We'll try it again. You're gonna get double chopped in? <laughs> Why are you so serious? The cheese or the cheese? Cheese. Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Wednesday and I'm currently on my way to a gynecologist appointment. Um, it is currently like 9.45 and so I'm going to start work late today because I have this appointment and yeah, I have a little to-go cup of coffee, if you can see without me spilling it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm not pregnant because I would hate for the gynecologist to find out I'm pregnant. We you know how America is rolling these days. Anyways, um, so I'm going to a gynecologist appointment and then maybe I'll go get some lunch before I start with work. But yeah, I'm currently in my sister's car and yeah. I also have to go get some gas. I did lose a few nails, but like I popped them off. So like I lost these two nails here and then this one here. Um, I'm going to take all of these off and then just give my nails a little bit of a break um, before I put a new set on. Um, I did order a bunch of sets off of Shein, so I'll show you those when they come in the mail. I'm so excited about that. They were like a dollar or two a set, and I'm, I'm excited to see like the quality of it. Like I did read the reviews of them, 
um but i'm just excited to see if they actually look cute or not but yeah um i haven't vlogged in a few days um really no reason i've been fine i just haven't picked up the camera i've just been busy with like work and you know regular life experiences let's talk about america for a second um i am 1000 percent pro choice and i think it's disgusting how the world views women's rights and i just never thought that we'd get to this point it's, to me it feels like we're in a movie like honestly i feel like we've taken a million steps back and it's just so disheartening to see because like women have fought so hard to get to where we are right now and i'm so grateful for like the fight that w women like in the past have put up for us to be able to stand in this where we are right now and have the rights that we had for it to just basically all go down the drain i think it's so sad and for those women who really believe in pro-life like really reevaluate your life but i believe that you should have your choice because if you don't want to have a baby and if you get pregnant today and it's consensual and it's with your partner and you're like we're just not ready and we never wanted kids it should be your choice to not have that child it is not my choice and it is not my business like if you want to have the child if you don't want to have the child if you want to have an abortion if you don't want to have an abortion if like it, it's not my choice it's not my business it's your choice it's your body you should make the decision it should the choice should not be taken away from us and i i completely disagree with what's going on in america right we're now very, we're, we're very stuck in the sense of like women are brought into the world to just reproduce like we as women have evolved so much that we have like aspirations in life we have goals in life and we want to be more than just mothers i want to be a businesswoman i want to own a house i want to own a house i don't want to own a house with my husband i want to have my own house my own car my own business and i should be able to do that because of how much we've evolved over the years and for you to sit there and make that decision over what i'm going to do with my body is wrong and i disagree a hundred percent that's just my take on it if you disagree and if you are pro-life then you can just click off of this video right now i really don't care to hear your opinion on it because abortion is not murdering babies i'm sorry you can't change my opinion i would never be pro-life i would always be pro-choice a thousand percent you hi guys um so it's a little bit later on in the day I went to my gynecologist appointment everything was fine and now i want i was reviewing the footage that i recorded earlier in the car um about the whole pro-choice versus pro-life thing and i came off very aggressive but this is why i'm very passionate about um being pro-choice and i respect that you have a different opinion and I just do prefer for you not to comment down below anything trying to defend or back up your opinion. But I am pro-choice and if that bothers you and you want to leave a nasty comment or think that you can change my mind, let me just stop you right there, okay? Pro-choice to the day I die. Anyways, lighter note. So I went to Ulta and I also went to TJ Maxx. So I went to Ulta because I wanted to get a new foundation. Um, I have been using the Fenty Beauty one and I like it but it's like just not the best and I also don't like that I have to like put um, because I live in Arizona and obviously there's like a lot of sun I have to put sunscreen on under and then so I have to do primer then sunscreen then the foundation like that's too many steps for me so I wanted to get a foundation that had SPF in it and so I picked this one up and this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And it's color correcting, full coverage cream, plus anti-aging, anti-aging hydrating serum, plus broad spectrum SPF 50. So love that. Sorry, I got a message I have to answer. So, so I got that foundation. When I walked in, when I walked in there, um, there was a lady that helped me and she was super nice and I was like telling her how I wanted like a good foundation and she was like well do you have anything on your face right now and I was like no and she was like 
you have great skin and I was like stop it right there because you're gonna make me get a big head and she was like no you have really good skin and then um, I told her that I wanted to try the It Cosmetics and she swatched me and when I tell you this is my perfect shade I got it in the shade light medium and it's literally perfect for me so I got that and then with the purchase of a It Cosmetics um, foundation they also gave us a f uh, free It Cosmetics brush blurring foundation talking about primers I picked up this elf power grip primer in clear I wanted to try this oh my god my foot please don't look at my foot um but I wanted to try this so I picked this up then when I walked in there was like a whole section of mascaras um by chart and it was buy two mascaras get them for 30 um an original price of each was like 24.50 or something like that so I had to and so the first one that I got was this um big ego mascara by Tarte in black and then I also got this opening act lash primer by Tarte it's just a white lash primer so you put this on first and then you put your mascara on helps it last longer I also wanted to get a new eyebrow eyebrow serum because as I mentioned in my last vlog I'm having a hard time finding um the undone um brow brush that I like so I saw this one by L'Oreal and I picked it up and it looks like that and this one's in the shade brunette pick that up and then I also wanted to get a new contour so I've never tried a contour stick like a a cream contour stick I've only ever done like the powder contour but I wanted to try it so um, I asked one of the gentlemen that worked there um, if they recommended a cream contour and so they walked me over to the Fenty Beauty and this is the one I got let me open it up so I got it in the shade mocha look how cute Fenty and shade mocha and this is what she looks like so cute so I'm excited to try that now how do we oh right here it'll look good okay so I got that I also have been looking for like my perfect nude lip gloss or lipstick or lip liner um, and so I walked by the NYX section and I got this in the shade where's the shade total baller I think is what it says there do you see that yeah, it has like the lipstick side and then it has the lip gloss side. So I thought I'd try it out. And then the last thing I got from Ulta was just my brush on glue from Glamnetics. I ran out of my last one that I purchased so I had to just re-up. And so that's what that is. And I went into Ulta and spent $156. So love that for me. I'll do a get ready with me later on in the week with all these new products and tell you what I think about them. So I'm excited for that. And then I also went to Old Navy and I just got this black dress. Looks like that because if you guys saw my last vlog, I got a dress from Shein and it ended up being too big on me. So um, I had to take it back, but I really wanted a black dress. So this is like the neckline. And then this is what she looks like. I'll show her on when I actually wear her, but that is that. So got this from TJ Maxx, this shirt that I'm wearing. It's just Snoopy and a little rainbow. I thought it was cute, it's like a little crop top, if you guys can see, a little crop top. And then I also got some press on nails. So the first one I got was this one by Kiss. I thought they were cute because I love blue. And I only paid like $4.99 for these. And then the second one I got were these and these are like the perfect like nude color and then same thing $4.99 oh I actually forgot about this I also got this cute little like heart or this cute little smiley face necklace look how cute how cute is that so I got that I also got this black sports bra just regular black sports bra and another black strapless or sleeveless dress this one's like flowy on the bottom though. Just trying to find the perfect one. Shorts. I just like some boot shorts. 
they don't have like a button and I kind of like that it kind of flatters more I'll show you what I mean I'll try this stuff on um but yeah I like booty shorts but they're cute last thing I got was this cute little bucket hat I've been kind of into a bucket hat lately what do we think is she cute or no but I've been into that look lately so We'll try it out, see if I like it. That is all I got. And I'm gonna put this stuff away now. Okay, bye.